Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Katie Galvin. I am the account manager for Streakwave Wireless at Grandstream Networks. So I'd like to thank everybody for uh, taking your afternoon or morning, wherever in the U.S. you are, to, uh, to spend some time with us to hear about our GVC 3200 video conferencing solution. Okay. So this is a brief, a brief picture of our GVC video conferencing system. Um, some of you may have these already, and if uh, you do not, um, we will go through um, pretty much the setup and everything too. So you'll get a good, a good view and a variety of photos so you can really see uh, what it is that we are, we're manufacturing here. Um, just a little bit before we start, I do like to give a little background on uh, Grandstream Networks. Um, some of you may be uh, familiar with Grandstream, some of you may be new to our product line, um, but I do like to kind of give an introduction to who we are as a company, uh, so you can see that we do have uh, not only a domestic presence, but also a global presence. Uh, so Grandstream Networks is headquartered in Boston, Massachusetts. We were uh, started actually in the neighborhood over in Brookline, Massachusetts. Our CEO, David Lee, started this company basically out of his apartment. And since 2002, we have been growing uh, rapidly with a consistent rate of increase in sales uh, since. So we were founded in 2002. Um, we have about 500 employees, and we are located all around the world. So um, our three offices in the United States are in Dallas, Boston, where we are headquartered, and Los Angeles. So LA is the... Um, is where our main warehouse is. So all of our shipping comes out of LA for uh, the United States and Canada. Uh, we manufacture in uh, China. So our, our, both our manufacturing warehouses are there. And then we also um, have offices in Morocco, Venezuela, and the Netherlands. So what we will be talking about today. Uh, so basically, we will be going over four things. Um, so this uh, GBC webinar is more, uh, we will touch uh, a little bit on some of the technical aspects of the GBC, um, but this is more an idea of what is the GBC 3200. Essentially, who is the clientele? Who are the people that are interested in purchasing this? Um, who is the best audience uh, for selling this? Um, we will go over a little bit of the installation and kind of take a look in comparison to our competitors. Um, we will also take a look at using the GBC 3200. This is kind of more of the, uh, the technical aspects of things. Um, like I said, we won't go into full detail about the technical side, but we will give you enough of a view and a look at the GBC 3200 so you can kind of understand really how simple it is, um, how, how basically advanced yet simple to use it is, I should, I should say that. And then number four, we will take a look at uh, common troubleshooting issues. Um, there are some amazing built-in features to this conferencing system that make it quite easy to use and quite simple. Uh, so that is something that I, you'll probably hear me reiterate a lot throughout this presentation. Uh, simple, plug and play, easy to use solution. Okay, so what is the GVC 3200? So basically, this is a SIP-based uh, grand stream video conferencing solution. So basically, uh, easy, in, easy installation, easy to use, plug and play, uh, easy interoperability. Uh, the GBC can pretty much communicate with third-party SIP apps, third-party SIP video conferencing platforms, and it also utilizes Android applications. Uh, one thing that is great about this is that um, we, oops, one second, sorry, is that we, um, have an Android-based system uh, here. Sorry, I'm trying to get the mouse every, sorry everyone, just getting the mouse fixed. <laughs> okay. Wait, let me fix this, sorry. All right, there we go. Hopefully everyone can see better now. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. All right, so basically um, this is a SIP-based, Android-based solution. So um, the other great thing about this is that you also, because it's Android-based, you have um, access to the Google Play Store. So things like uh, Skype, Skype for Business, Google Hangouts, and a significant amount of more applications can be used for this. So we will go through that as we continue. Okay, so this actually, if you can see on this left-hand side of my screen, this is basically an example of the way we actually have our GVC 3200 set up in our office. So it has up to um, 
three monitors you can use. Um, we put the GBC on top of the monitors, and then we have the boardroom kind of example. So this is what we're calling um, the quintessential setup. Uh, this can be used in a variety of different, uh, you know, situations, but this is kind of the best, the best scenario here. Um, so if you take a look at the video, um, this can go up to four-way video. In the four-way video, it has up to 1080 resolution. So this is the highest, most clear resolution um, if you just are speaking with, you know, three other offices or whatnot. We also do, uh, in five-way video, it can go up to that. Um, we have 720 resolution. And then it does go all the way up to nine-way video conferencing in the VGA resolution. Um, truth be told, all of resolution is really, really nice. We use this quite frequently um, with our other offices around the world, whether it be Venezuela, even LA, Dallas. Uh, the the uh, quality of video is quite nice. And that is actually something that is referenced quite frequently at a lot of the shows that we go to. Um, some of you have probably maybe even been to some of our shows where um, you can see the high quality. Um, that is a question that we receive a lot. So I would just like to reiterate that, that the level of video quality is quite high and very clear. Uh, the camera itself, uh, we do have PTZ uh, with a 12 times zoom. So that definitely, if you want to get real, real up close, so that the lens is quite clear. Uh, the network, we do have a one gigabit port and has integrated Wi-Fi. And we do have Bluetooth uh, integrated into this. Um, we have three video outputs, three HDMI, so you can see that in the picture on the left. And then this does also include um, a GAC2500. The GAC2500 is Grand Stream's new audio conferencing solution. I will go again uh, more into this uh, in depth in a few more slides. So this is just kind of the basic functionality and basic uh, build of the GAC3200 just so you can kind of get an idea and a gauge of, you know, its capabilities and, and really what it's made from. So getting started. So basically, it's easy to install. So it comes with a GAC2500, and it also comes with um, all the power supplies and everything that you need. So it's really as simple as plugging it in and linking in the GAC2500 if you want it. Um, I just would like to stress uh, the GAC2500 does come with the GVC. However, depending on the setting or room size that you are using this, sometimes you don't even need the GAC2500. Uh, the GVC has its own embedded MCU, and the audio quality is quite, is quite good. Um, so I will just kind of say the GAC2500 is if in your in kind of a larger boardroom. Um, you know, if you're in a small office, small, small room, Probably not necessary to link it up, um, but again, it's just there, so if you, if you do want it. Um, we do, it's easy to get started, too. One thing I will mention here is that um, I won't go too much into our IP Video Talk Pro, but Rantstream has recently released, and this was past uh, March 14th. Some of you might have seen that we re, uh, released our first uh, cloud, cloud solution. And this is called the uh, IP Video Talk Pro. Um, this is essentially our first uh, conferencing solution. Um, in order to use this, you do have to have two GVCs. Uh, so I just kind of want to make that point known. Um, post this um, webinar, we are happy to send out uh, some information, you know, regarding kind of the, uh, you know, the details regarding this service, if it is of interest to you as well. And then also easy interoperability. Um, basically, you can use any third-party third SIP platform, and you can, uh, like I said, Skype, Hangouts, Android, however you, however you desire, you can use, can use the store. So here we go with the easy installation. So some of you might be familiar with some of our competitors' conferencing solutions, but um, basically, in, in a perfect world, uh, before our solution, you would basically have to knock down walls hire people to come in and install these things and really, really kind of disrupt your office for a day. With GrandStream and the new solution, basically you get it, take it out of the box, plug it in. So basically you plug the GVC 3200 into your camera, connect the speaker phone to the camera unit, and then basically connect this to the monitors as you saw in the previous slide. And then it's pretty much as simple as now you're ready for video conferencing. Obviously you have to you know, configure things and whatnot. But as far as just an absolute install, it's quite simple. So this is what it comes with. Um, like I said, it does come with the GAC2500, if desired to use. Uh, the GVC3200 unit does have an MCU and camera in the device, obviously, so you guys at least know that. Oops, sorry. 
Um, it also has a Bluetooth remote control. Uh, it has the power adapter, HDMI cables, Ethernet, uh, wall mounting bracket, and then basically all the screws that you need. Um, just so you know, you do not have to use the wall mounting bracket. Uh, like I said in the original picture that I showed you, uh, we used it uh, just because it is far convenient. But I have heard of people using it actually on their tables and whatnot too. So that really is personal preference and also kind of what it is that you're looking to use the GVC for as well. So this is just a picture of the back. Um, for those of you who haven't really been able to hold it or see it at any shows, just so you know, it's a really light device. It's, it's really small, too. It probably, if you put out both of your hands, you can rest, you can rest it in there. It's quite simple. Um, kind of Maybe to give you a perspective, it's kind of the size of one of our larger phones, too. Um, so it is quite small. So on the back, this is the back. You'll see you have your VGA, HDMI, uh, your SD card right in the middle or the slot, your LAN port, and the power supplies. So you can kind of, can kind of see how, how simple it is. No room for confusion there, too. Everything is properly labeled and whatnot. So, so this is, again, about our IP Video Talk Pro. Um, this is our cloud video conferencing platform. And again, it, this is compatible with the GVC 3200. So uh, again, in the event that you are looking for a new solution in this regard, uh, you know, please let us know. We are happy to send you some information to use on that. And again, just to reiterate, we, uh, you do need two GDC 3200s in order to utilize this service. OK. So basically, back to the easy interoperability. So you can use this in a variety of different ways. So you can hook, hook it up with a PBX. We have a picture of our UCM6102 in the corner, and just basically call it like an extension. You can use a cloud service, like we did down here, our IP Video Doc Pro. Uh, you can use the um, basically the Android store, and you can use Skype, Google Hangouts, like we have over here, or any other popular SID platform. Uh, so again very easy to use, and it offers you a variety of solutions as far as how you want to set it up. So that's always always a good thing. Um, no vendor lock-in, so that's nice. Um, you have a variety of people you can select from, so if you want to go elsewhere, you can use Skype one day, Google Hangouts the next. So, And also just on a selling feature, too, um, when people call in and they talk to us about the GVC 3200, having access to the Google Store has been um, quite, a neat, uh, quite a nice selling point. Um, we use cell phones all day long, and this functionality or functions just like a cell phone pretty much, especially if you're using an Android phone. Uh, the way you can access the store, everything, the, the interface is exactly the same. So it brings a familiarity to people who are already comfortable using an Android-based device. So also, it is, um, so again, we will be, I will be uh, reiterating IP Video Talk Pro uh, throughout the presentation. So there you go. There it is again. Um, Third-party systems. So again, uh, Polycom, Cisco, LifeSize, Telelabs, all of those um, companies that already have existing web conferencing things you can use. Uh, these do come with the Blue Jeans. Uh, Blue Jeans already on it. So if you already have a Blue Jeans account, that's great. Um, it'll be set up. It's, it's Blue Jeans is already on the GVC. And then again, the Android apps, Skype, Google Hangouts, Skype for Business, um, again, and the PDX too. So if you want, we actually do call extensions sometimes via the office. We have, you know, one large conference room, and then we have another one in the back. So you can call, you know, Bridge 802 or whatnot. Um, and just to reiterate too, if any of you are ever looking to uh, deploy these and you're looking to kind of pitch them, you can always call GrandStream, and we will be um, able to use our already existing a GVC 3200 to actually, if you want to call into us and, and show how it works, um, we're always happy to be a part of part of that. So, just keep in mind. So, also using our, <clears throat> excuse me, the rest of our product lines. So, for those of you who are either familiar with GrandStream or not familiar with GrandStream, we also have a large variety of. Oops, sorry. We have a large variety of IP video phones. So, uh, in the top corner over here, you will see our 3275. So um, we, because we are a global company, we have sales meetings once a week. And in that sales meetings, we have people calling in from all over the world. So a lot of those people use their 3275 to call into our GVC 3200. And uh, that way we can see each other. 
you know, we might be, you know, thousands of miles away, but it is a great way for that, again, that unified communication to see each other, see how everyone's doing, literally, <laughs> and um, again, using using uh, that product. Um, you can also do direct IP calls between GVCs. So um, this is kind of interesting. One clientele we had, uh, one big, big project that has kind of been emerging with these is education. I have had a lot of people call in and have a GVC located in one location, whether it be, I'll, I'm going to use rural Missouri because that was the example. They used it in rural Missouri and then they used it at a CD school in Missouri, you know, X miles away. And they offered um, education to the kids in rural Missouri via our GVCs. So they just did direct IP calls between the two GVCs and what was happening in rural Missouri, uh, you know, they could see in city Missouri. So it was really a nice opportunity, a nice way to kind of see um, how these direct IP calls between the GVCs work as well too. And then obviously you can use it via a tablet or any other kind of Android uh, application too. And you can also use it um, in the bottom corner, excuse me, is the uh, video calls between other video conferencing solutions too. So Cisco, Polycom, Life, Spice, uh, whatever it may be, you can, you can function with them as well. So here we are. This is a good example of who is actually using the GVC 3200. So just to reiterate, this is a video conferencing solution for small to medium business. So a lot of small businesses have approached us, whether uh, you know, it be via the chat, via our shows, kind of looking for a simple solution that they don't have to spend a significant amount of money. And that really is the Grandstream GVC 3200. So I gave you the example of the two schools, um, the Missouri schools. Um, that was one. Um, a lot of uh, law offices. Uh, especially if they're law offices that are, uh, you know, throughout the state. Uh, we had an instance in New York where there was a law office uh, rooted in Brooklyn or headquartered in Brooklyn, and then they had some areas around other parts of New York, and they needed, the, you know, they wanted a video conferencing solution uh, that wasn't going to cost them a significant amount of money. So that was another example. Um, doctor's offices, too. Um, again, just smaller businesses that don't want to spend large amounts of money. So, and then the small businesses too, as far as uh, even uh, Grandstream for, for starters, you know, we, like I said, we're a global company. So we have a GVC in Boston. We have a GVC in Venezuela, Dallas, LA, Morocco. And it's really a great way to, to stay in touch and communicate. So. <clears throat> so these are the video features. Full, uh, full 1080 uh, pixel HD video conferencing. Again, it supports up to three TV monitors if you would like to do that. Um, it also allows for just a note on the uh, TV monitors. You can do screen sharing. So for instance, if you're giving a presentation uh, in the Boston headquarters that you would like Venezuela, China, Dallas to see, um, you can do eight, basically eight calls and then use the ninth screen or call or not for the uh, sharing of the presentation. And then the 12 times optical zoom. And then you have one, uh, the HDMI and the VGA input as well too. The screen sharing is really a nice, a nice feature for people, um, especially too because if you want to take a look at a document and edit the document together um, or get someone else's opinion or, or something like that,
Hello. Hmm. Can you hear me now? And, okay, sorry about that, everybody. A little, a little sound quality issue there. My apologies. I'll get the screen back up. Okay, let's see. Can you guys hear can you hear me now? Okay, sorry everybody that I keep going in and out. I'm not really sure what the issue is. I will uh plug through it um and I'll keep this I'll keep the slides going too in the event you guys uh, lose lose my, my hearing again or my voice again, I'll keep the slides going um, because you'll still be able to see um, a lot of the technical aspects of everything. Um, again, my apologies if I continue to go in and out, um, but I will keep going uh, so you will be able to see everything that I uh, am explaining. So. pull this down. Okay, so um, this screen right here is an example of basically the video sharing that you can do. Uh, that actually on the left hand side is actually our Boston um, conference table. So um, you can kind of see how it is the, uh, the quintessential setup as far as um, having the GVC above the monitors mounted on the wall and then um, all the, the space built. And then usually what we do is we have the, G, the GAC in the center of the table. So that's kind of um, a good example of utilizing both of them in the typical setup that comes with that. Now you can see on the um, bottom of this, it has a button that says turn on presentation. So when you log into the GVC, wherever it is located, it will look exactly like it does in this left-hand picture. And then on the bottom, you'll see all of these little marks and whatnot. So anytime you want to start with your screen sharing, you essentially just turn on the presentation and then it basically pops up and allows you to basically share your screen from wherever you are. So that is kind of how that, that function works. And then on this picture over here, you can kind of see here you have your screen sharing and then here you have, you know, your Venezuela office, your Dallas office, uh, you know, any other office too. Okay, so here's our um, audio features. So again, it includes the GAC and a microphone, the embedded MCU. Uh, so that is also nice. And then it does have built-in Bluetooth as well. So um, everything is HD audio. So that's kind of what I was saying about uh, the GAC is a great option for a Boston office like ours that has kind of that long conference table. Um, but if you're in a smaller setting, sometimes you don't even need to utilize uh, the, them both in the same in the same room. You can just use the embedded MCU in the GVC, and then you can even bring the GAC to another room in the office or somewhere. Excuse me, somewhere else, um, 
to get that kind of extra extra sound quality too and to have to have another place where you can communicate so here we have just the general uh, network features so this is Wi-Fi and you do have a gigabit uh, network port which is good especially when you're using up to the nine-way conferencing um, the other good thing about GVC is that we have an app that is built into the GVC. It's called speedtest.net, and we get into more of the technical side of things. You will actually see uh, an example of the test. Um, that basically what it does is it measures the bandwidth for you. So you essentially will know if the quality of audio or uh, visual is poor, this bandwidth test will basically tell you why. So you'll know that the network, you know, you need more, you need less or whatnot. So um, that is a really nice quality to have in there. So if you're about to give some big presentation, you can check the bandwidth, make sure you have enough in the area you're in, and then you can just move forward from that. So this is the GAC 2500. Um, so this actually just recently won, um, this has won a few uh, Internet Telephony uh, Awards. So this was uh, probably about a few months ago. Um, so again, Android-based. It uh, has uh, six lines with up to six SIP accounts, and you can do seven-way audio conferencing. Um, also, the GAC, too, I'm sure some of you know, can be it's its own entity as well. It comes with the GVC 3200, but also if someone is just more interested in the simple purchase of a GAC 2500, um, that's open to them as well, too, just so just so those of you who um, might be interested in an audio, a new audio conferencing solution, just so you know, you can purchase this as its own entity. Um, this has, again, dual gigabit network ports and built-in PoE. You also have Bluetooth, USB, and Wi-Fi, and again, it's Android-based. But one question that does uh, rise a lot about the GAC 2500 is can you add any extra outside mics? The answer is no as of now. However, if you'd like, you can cascade two of these or daisy chain them together if you need extra, extra mics. So that is kind of cool that they can be uh, linked up and connected. Okay, so this is the uh, Bluetooth remote that is included in the um, purchase of the GVC 3200. So Bluetooth 4.0 compliant, uh, touchpad, easy touchpad. Um, oops, sorry, it keeps going. There we go. <laughs> Um, navigation keys. This is really a very simple, simple um, remote. So actually, if you go, if you see where my cursor is right here, this actually just slide your finger on it like a laptop, and you can do whatever you want there. And then down here, um, it's just like a simple remote. Uh, so obviously, this mute, this is video, presentation, and, that, and, and this is screen sharing too. So it's really a, a quite quite simple, and um, it's almost, it's far more simple than a TV remote, I can say that. <laughs> okay, so this is also, again, just reiterating that we do have um, access to the Google Store. Um, so again, Skype for Business, Skype, Google Hangouts, Go to Meeting, BlueJeans, etc. So having, again, an Android-based product is, is nice. Um, so when you log into the GVC 3200, like I said, you will see a screen that basically looks like this. Now, then we'll have um, five little sections, and over there you can, sorry, you can pick which applications you want, just like in the Google Store. So it, liter it literally looks like a cell phone. So I use an Android-based cell phone, so when I first started playing around um, with the GVC, I said, wow, this looks exactly like my cell phone. So I felt quite comfortable uh, utilizing it. And um, when we go to shows, I have people who, you know, use a joy-based phone too, say the same thing. It's quite user-friendly like that. So, and then this is that speed test application that is already on the GDC to, um, to basically, you know, again, determine the, brand, the bandwidth. Okay, so this is, um, third-party apps. So we were down here where my cursor is. This was the presentation button. And then now down over here is basically your options for uh, third-party applications. So again, they click that, and then that will take you to the screen up over here where you will find um, any of the applications that you downloaded. And then down here you'll see uh, the Skype for Business too, if you can so if you already have a Skype for Business and you prefer using that, then they can, you can use that too. 
And then down here, you'll see all the, the people and the faces. Okay. So this is kind of a um, example of how actually we pretty much use our GDCs along with other of our other products as well too. Um, so basically, you have our Boston headquarters, New York, Los Angeles. Well, New York, we don't have any office in New York. I don't know why they put that. And then Los Angeles, um, and then some remote location. So we have a lot of remote employees. So again, when we have these meetings, it's really nice to have them basically call in. Oops. Sorry, I'm just making sure that I'm getting every, okay, that I'm not muted again. Okay. Okay, sorry, I just want to make sure I wasn't muted. <laughs> um, again, so down here, everyone can call in. It's really an amazing example of how a low-cost solution can really utilize and uh, full communication. Um, so uh, these are all of our phones. This is a 3240, a 3275, 3240, 1600 series. So this is just an example of how Grandstream, Grandstream is really the unified communication solution here. Here we have our GAC again. So okay. So now we've kind of gone over, you know, really what the GVC can do. Uh, we're going to take a, a look at the installation. Um, like I said, it's it's quite simple, um, but sometimes seeing pictures of it and seeing it, how it actually works, uh, can really demonstrate how simple this is. So you can bear with me. Some of the slides can be uh, kind of repetitive as far as just kind of showing the same picture of where certain things are installed. So I just want to give everyone a pre-warning there. So this was the slide that we had shown earlier, kind of comparing how our installation is much easier than the competition. Um, this over here, I'm not even really sure how to make example, <laughs> how to make sense of that. Um, but again, over here, pretty much three, two steps. Um, plug in the GVC 3200, connect to the speaker phone, connect to the TV monitors, and then you're ready. So I'll just let that up there for a little bit so you can see that. One other thing too is that our, our competition uh, you know, you have to put these MCUs and servers, and they have to be con connected to the video conferencing uh, unit, and it's a lot of equipment. Um, we were trying to come up with a solution that had as little, basically as little cords as possible, because again, installing can get quite technical in uh, some other realms. So having, again, that plug-and-play solution that requires little to zero installation was really what we were working for. Okay, so over here you'll see kind of the back side that I showed you in an earlier slide, kind of what everything looks like. And my apologies if that's such a small, a small image. But basically, number one, plug in the power adapter to the GVC 3200. So over here, we'll see that. Uh, connect the speakerphone via USB or Bluetooth. Again, you'll see the, US, the USB in here. And then connect the GVC 3200 to your TV monitors and then you're pretty much, you're set. So you can kind of see everything over here. So here you have the front and the back. So this kind of just goes over what everything is. So this is the front of the, G the GDC. So when you walk into the Grandstream conference room in Boston, you'll walk in and this is, this image right here is what you'll see. So on the top part here, this is the lens. Now the lens can be um, kind of delicate. When it's packaged, it comes in with full, um, I forget the foam stuff, but the, the lens itself is, is quite delicate. Um, so up here, you'll see the 12 times optical zoom. The display is right here. This will tell you the IP address. And then um, in this little area right here is the embedded MCU. So ra again, rather than having to install those things into walls or wherever, um, it's already in the device. And then your LED indicator is this little dot right here. And then these two areas over here is your microphone. So again, this goes back to, I'm um, sorry, this goes back to kind of the, um, the GAC 2500. Um, I've had plenty, plenty of people tell me that in smaller boardrooms, a lot of times they don't even need uh, the extra speaker or the GAC 2500, that the microphones and everything, the audio quality, is uh, good enough where they can utilize the GAC in another room or elsewhere. And then here's a better image of the back so you can really see everything. So you have your VGA, 
your HDMIs in the back, your SD card court, uh, card storage, and we'll go into kind of the things that the, uh, the excuse me, the GVC can do. You have your external speaker and mic, your gigabit Ethernet, and then the famous, infamous reset button, <laughs> uh, your USB port, and then your power adapter right here. So again, a simple device. I'll leave that up there for a little bit so people can kind of uh, take a look at it. And again, this device itself is not is not large. It's um, you know I can actually even get the measurements, but it's it's light. It's it's easy to package. It's easy to travel with too. Uh, when we travel for shows, um, I have had to take this a few times, um, and it, it's durable. It lasts, and it's it's easy to carry. So just to reiterate that easy easy use. Okay. So this now you're installed. Everything's set up, you're plugged in, and this is basically the first screen that you will see on the GVC 3200. Uh, so for those of you who already use our products and log into our web interfaces via, whether it be, you know, the phones, the UCMs, you'll find that the GVC is set up pretty much exactly the same. The design itself looks a little different as far as, you know, the fonts and whatnot, um, but they're, it, it's pretty much all the same. So first question is always, your LAN net, your LAN connected, your networks, your account. So underneath the account is where you'd put your SIP, your SIP account. And you can always access this again uh, when you get into the actual GVC menu and we will have slides of that as well too. <clears throat> so this is kind of, um, they do, this is kind of, an, again, this is the primary example of how to set this up. Um, again, you don't have to do it this way. Um, this is the example with the wall mount. You'll see over here in this picture on the right, here's your wall mount, um, and then the three monitors. Um, but like I said, there have been people that have put the GVC down on the table. They don't want to use the wall mount. Um, so again, it's really personal preference. I, we recommend the wall mount just for, you know, to keep it out of people's way and so it doesn't get um, damaged or whatnot. Then the Bluetooth remote that we uh, referenced in a previous slide, um, this has to be uh, within 10 meters, which is about 32 feet range of the GVC 3200. So um, example, a large demo site. Another example, again, the grand, I, I keep going back to the Boston Grand Stream Born Room, um, but that is really the perfect example of the ideal use. Okay, so we're going to go a little bit into um, the using the GVC 3200 and the Bluetooth remote, the speaker and microphone, main menu, in-call options, and the web interface. So we'll basically, the next few slides kind of take a look of, at the GVC 3200 when you're inside the menu, when you're operating it, and, you know, where to go with certain, with certain things. So this is the uh, Bluetooth remote control. So I, we'd seen a, we showed you a picture earlier. Um, so over here is the actual remote. Again, all uh, Bluetooth. <clears throat> so I'll just let you guys take a look at that for a little bit. Again, uh, please make note of the range to 10 meters at 32 feet. Okay. Again, this is just. Um, it supports the OTA firmware upgrades too, so that's always nice when uh, the firmware upgrades come out. Everything will it will support everything. There's not an extra step for that. So all of these pictures over here that you'll be seeing um, in the slides, these are direct uh, screenshots of our GVC 3200. So this is pretty much how everything looks. So here you have the address. We we use IP Video Talk, so that's showing up here. Obviously, your time, Bluetooth, network. So uh, one thing that we do offer on the GDC 3200, which is kind of cool, is actually an um, Android application option. So if you actually wanted to, you could use your uh, mobile phone or a tablet to basically serve as another remote for the GDC 3200. Um, it, it's pretty cool, and, and it actually it looks exactly the same in the application. It looks exactly the same as it does over here. So you can kind of see now. Um, so if you basically wanted somebody to just, you know, have it on your phone and utilize it that way, um, it's a pretty... Pretty unique, pretty unique function. 
And again, you're in your status page over here, account, system, network, remote control. So when you log into the web GUI, I'm sorry, web UI of the uh, GVC 3200, um, this is basically all the top things up here is what you'll see. So you have call, contacts, device control, settings, maintenance, and then up here is the remote control option. So you'll see that's quite it's quite user friendly. And then down here we'll get into the later slides, but this is you know where all of your network status, account status, and whatnot is. So inside of the web UI, you will see all these options for the remote control. Okay, so here we have um, the external speakers and the microphone, the GAC 2500, which we've gone over. I will go through these a little bit faster as I see we're kind of running lower on time. Okay, now for those of you who already had um, an existing GVC 3200, um, if you had purchased this uh, with even within probably the past six months, you would have received, rather than a GAC 2500, you would have received our in-focus speaker, um, and that was while the GV GAC 2500 was being manufactured. So um, the in-focus speakers still work totally fine. Um, for anyone that is still utilizing that, it works just as good as anything else. Uh, so I do want to reiterate that. So this is just an example of how to basically connect the uh, Bluetooth via the uh, in-focus speaker. And again, um, that is under a networks option in the GVC, and then you'll see Bluetooth, and again, it turn on or off. So we'll find the device, pair it, and you're good to go. Okay, so this main menu right here, when you log into the GDC, this is up here is what you see. So you'll have your application options. You can use uh, take a camera, take pictures, uh, your calendar, your contacts, your accounts, settings, whatnot, and then any kind of Android app that you have on your main menu. So when you go into uh, this little kind of settings option, as you would in any kind of, you know, if the setting button looks the same as in any other kind of, uh, whether it be a, a, a Gmail account or something, it's always that little star thing. Um, you will come into pretty much everything you need to set up the GVC. So here you have the account, and the account is where you put your SIP, your SIP account, uh, system, maintenance, network, obviously you'll see, you know, lands, network, audio, video, peripheral, and status. So again, very, very self-explanatory. And also, these are the only eight options you will have. So everything that you need is underneath one of these options. Whereas in sometimes um, navigating your way through some settings of some other devices can be quite challenging, where this is a very user-friendly, self-explanatory device. So here's just an example of what the account registration and the account codec settings look like. So again, if you're putting in, if you're even installing this for somebody who might just, you know, want some extra assistance, again, you just go to that little settings button at the main menu, log into the account, and then down here you'll see all the SIP server, SIP user ID, everything. And then same thing with the codec settings too. Uh, so the system also does uh, language and input, um, date and time. Again, all of the all kind of the general features that you need in order for it to to operate and get the uh, the time zones correct too. Um, as for languages, um, I will have to check on the. Uh, we have pretty much every every language. I know we are working on getting a few of the other. Um, I want to say maybe Arabic languages, um, but if anyone needs a specific language, um, please feel free to. Uh, to email me and I can I can determine whether or not we do have that. I know that we have made some um, headway in having more languages on there. So, okay, so system settings. So in here is where you can kind of check your storage. So, um, in basically you can unmount the SD card and the USB, remove it, and it will tell you basically how much storage you've been using. Um, that goes also to call recordings as well. So if you wanted to. Uh, record a conversation, a presentation, a meeting, uh, you basically just pull it off of uh, the, S the SD card and uh, you can watch it via the, the web interface. Again, just going back into the system, a system excuse me, it, it, again, uh, if you have an Android phone, it, it operates the same way. Um, 
as it would on your cell phone for checking an app and starting apps. And here's your web access. And then on the maintenance, um, you'll find also pretty much uh, your upgrade mode, uh, troubleshooting, factory reset, and reboot. Obviously, uh, many of you know your factory reset button is always an important one to know where that is. So uh, when you purchase your, your GVC 3200, just remember it's under the maintenance button, under the settings, and you will find the factory reset option there. And again, I will go into these three over here. So one thing that's really nice about the uh, GVC 3200 is its troubleshooting options. Uh, there's actually an application, it's a diagnostics test, and it will actually help you troubleshoot and try to find um, issues that are, uh, you know, in the, within the GVC. Um, and that also goes to the, the trace, trace route option as well, um, and then the diagnostics test. And the diagnostics is actually in another slide, um, but I will, I will bring that up for you guys too. Obviously, uh, the Bluetooth, that is under network. Um, so again, just pairing the device, thunder. And this goes for where if you want to unpair it as well, too. So when you want, if you wanted to pair your GAC 2500 via Bluetooth, you can do that option here as well. So again, this is just a, a screenshot of the screen, so you can see where you would go for Wi-Fi, Ethernet, um, VLAN, everything. Your volume, your ringtone is also under the audio settings. Um, again, so it, and you also have a lot more um, options here for different kind of ringtones that you want as well too, which is nice. And if you wanted some kind of sp specific one too, you can throw that in there too if you really feel like you need a David Bowie song or something. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about um, with the recording. Um, so yes, you can do call recording or media, uh, not, sorry, not really call, well it is call recording, um, but meeting recording too if you wanted to. Um, so always nice if, you know, you, you kind of wanted to see, uh, write the minutes of a meeting and you miss something or whatnot. So we also have presets on the GVC 3200, so I will go into that. So here are our presets. So basically, um, Here's a perfect example. Uh, if you have a person who sits in this preset six and that's their seat and you, you know, want to make sure that everybody in every office can see them speak, you can just hit six and that will go right to that preset. And you can have up to 24 of these. So these can really fit any kind of situation. I, like I said, our primary use is that we have, uh, you know, common speakers at certain meetings and you want to make sure that everyone can see them, hear them, and the presets are really nice for that. And again, it goes into 12 times Zoom too, so you can really get up close and personal. If, uh, if you can't hear somebody <laughs> too well, you can always read their mouth too. <laughs> so then again, this is also our um, system status setting. So you can see the IP address, uh, the MAC address of the, of the product, um, and whatnot. So this is pretty much where all of the, the statuses are. And again, that is under settings status. So it's, it's very, uh, like I said, very self-explanatory. Remote control status, same thing. It's under status. So we, we did tough touch on that. So Okay, so um, one other nice feature of this is that you can actually um, also schedule conference calls. Uh, and you can also, we use our IP video talk for that. So basically every Monday we have a sales meeting and it goes out to everybody um, it sends a reminder, and it's every Monday at X time, and you'll receive it even, we use it via, um, well, every week, actually. So we receive a, an email reminder. Um, so the GVC 3200 does the same exact thing. Um, and you can do a remind time 10 minutes before the meeting, one day before the meeting, however, however you prefer. So it is a, able to do um, a lot with the calendar as well, too. Uh, you can also add members and delete members, too. So anyone who's hosting the GVC can automatically call all the attendees at the scheduled time. And then, you can again, you can also remind them 10 minutes before the conference starts, too. So this is a nice feature because 
you know, as the day goes on, people get kind of focused on what they're doing and they, you know, forget sometimes that they have a meeting. But here it is, the host can, can let you know, hey, just a reminder, meeting's about to start and there you go. So this goes uh, back to the main screen again. This is the main screen of the GVC. And again, this picture behind the GVC will be in wherever it's set up. So in Boston, it's the Boston office. So here you have the application section. So, oops, I'm sorry. Oh, we'll just use it right here. Okay. So right here, you have your Play Store and you have your GS Market. So those are basically the two places where you can purchase, app or not purchase applications, download the applications. Um, if you really want an Angry Birds or something like that, too, you could, you could get that. Let me just go back here. Also, you can access settings from here, too. Any downloads, call history. Again, you'll notice this interface looks like a cell phone, too. So, like I said, that from a sales perspective, when I do speak to people about this GVC, it is amazing how this just kind of offers them a sense of comfortability where they're not overwhelmed. Oh, it looks like a cell phone. We receive that commentary a lot. So um, having something familiar, people do, uh, you know, appreciate. And then down here is our speed test app that we had mentioned before, which is built in and will determine the uh, bandwidth. So you, make, you can make sure that you have enough at the location so that everything will function properly and the video quality will work well. Again, the Google Play Store. Over here, too, on the main menu, if you have an application that you use quite frequently and you just want to have, you know, have this on your screen, um, you can just put it there. So, okay. So I'm going to actually um, go through some of these quite fast. I just noticed we were kind of running low on time, so I just want to make sure that we get everything in here. Um, so basically, uh, normal SIP calls, paging, and direct IP calls. Um, so basically, you just select your call mode. And you can see right here what it is, that it is you know, if you want to do IP call, paging, whatnot. making calls. So again, if you're um, doing a direct IP call like we do in the, the office sometimes, you just dial the simple five dial, boom. Um, for those of you who actually utilize our, uh, our uh, multimedia phones, you'll notice that this, this might look familiar to you. Um, the GVC 3200s uh, is exactly the same. So you can do a video answer, audio answer, just reject it. Okay, so let me... Uh, Okay, so here's also um, the web interface of the GVC 3200. So again, for those of you who are familiar with our products, you will kind of see there is a familiarity with how it looks um, and trying to keep that, that, common, that common look. And again, account, call settings, everything's over here. So I'm going to uh, fast forward just so I get to a little bit of the troubleshooting things. Um, again, the screen sharing and then we can... Uh, uh, this just goes into the call recording. Uh, so basically, there is a recording option. Actually, you can even record from the remote, too. Um, and what we'll do is we'll save on the SD card. So then when you pull the SD card out, you'll have the recordings, or you'd even have it on the web GUI. Okay. So here is our uh, famous admin, admin, password. As many of you with Grand Street products know, <laughs> we did not change it for the GBC 3200, so. <clears throat> so this page, again, simple. It's our usual, usual configurations, usual look, um, network settings, SIP settings. So network settings over here, too. So pretty much everything that is on the GBC just correlates over to the web UI as well. Okay. So I'm just I'm just going through these slides so you can kind of get an idea of you know kind of what it looks like via the web UI just so I can get to some of the troubleshooting things. Okay. So um, this basically we kind of end with uh, common troubleshooting and uh, kind of ways to uh, resolve and reboot those issues in the event it happens. So obviously, knowing your IP address is quite significant, so it's always on the top left-hand corner. Your SIP account, if it's green, it's registered. If it's gray, it's not registered. And then obviously your status icon. So knowing where those are is always kind of uh, important, especially, especially these two over here. 
So in the maintenance section of the G, uh, GVC, you will, again, we will go back to this troubleshooting, and you have a trace route, which basically, as it says, will trace the route and basically kind of determine whether or not there's issues, uh, you know, be it the network or whatnot. So um, that's, always, that's always convenient. Um, so here's an example of it, the ping. What's not being reached, so. So then we have this other thing that I was uh, talking about earlier, and uh, sorry, I will finish up with this, and then we can get some questions. Um, we have this diagnosis over here in the application section, and this comes with the GVC 3200. So essentially, all you have to do is click on this, and it will kind of tell you basically, if, if, is everything in, in check, or what kind of test is it that you want to check out for? Um, and this is really convenient, especially if you're not, if you're selling to people who aren't overly technical and don't, all, but don't always want to have to get on the phone with their issues. Um, this, this is a nice, this is a nice feature. Um, so you just click on whatever it is, whatever test it is you want to do, and it will basically tell you whether or not that specific quality is working. So the remotes themselves can sometimes also um, have issues pairing or whatnot. If that happens, uh, they connect the mouse to the USB port and go to network and go to Bluetooth for, to repair. Um, so again, just kind of reiterating, a lot of things, a lot of stuff is built into this um, to kind of make everything quite user friendly. So I'll let you guys kind of take a look at that screen just so you see it. Okay. Okay, and I'm actually, I'm going to actually end on um, this slide because I'm taking a look at our time and I just want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to ask a question if they'd like. So basically, um, this is the bandwidth speed test I was referencing earlier. Um, again, this is already downloaded into the application, um, so you will already have it on the GDC once it's purchased, and it will tell you the current bandwidth availability. Um, also, the manuals will also tell you, too, what, you, what bandwidth you need for which use, whether it be, you know, you want the four-way conferencing 1080, um, the, the VGA, what, whatever it may be. So we have that for your reference um, in the manuals as well, too, so you know what it is that you need for this to function the way you'd like. So this is a really great feature um, that has helped, it helps us a lot, too. So when we bring the GVC to certain presentations, it's always nice to know what bandwidth we're working in so we know which one is the best one to show the best quality to. So. So I'm going to, that's pretty much everything that we have. Um, the other stuff too, it's just pretty much do's and don'ts of the, um, the GVC. But given the time that we have, I just want to make sure that in the event anyone does have any, you know, specific questions, um, we're always happy to, we're always happy to help and answer them. Um, and that goes for any kind of pre-sales questions too. Um, I'm happy to have Streakwave give anyone who attended today my email. And I'm happy to put you in contact whether you have more specific technical questions. I can always put a, an engineer on the phone with you um, if you have any pre-sales questions or you need marketing materials to assist you in making that sale. Uh, we are always here to help. And um, yeah, so I will take, let me see if there's a chat section. I think there's a chat section where I think, um, Oh, and for all of those of you who are still on, I just want to say uh, my apologies for, uh, for the sound issues that we had earlier. Um, but I will take some questions, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Questions. <clears throat> Okay, sorry, I know also my eyesight is a... <laughs> and for anyone who did ask a question today, I am going to give, um, like I said, if I, can't, if I can't answer it right now, I will, um, I'm happy to have anyone uh, email me and I will give my email to, um, to Streakwave so they have it and they have, uh, they can, you guys can email me directly too. So if you have a specific question that you need answered, I will take a, I will take a stab at them for sure. Okay, is there a way to? Oh, 
Yes, yes, okay. Oh, and for everyone, I was not using a GVC in this webinar today. I just was using my own laptop. <laughs> that was a good question. <laughs> Yes, uh, for this question right here, can you disable Google Play Store lockdown apps? Yes, you can do that. Um, it is in the settings page. Um, we have had that question a lot because, um, you know, there are obviously applications that aren't always conducive to uh, work environments. So, yes, the answer is yes to that question. Um, and if you email me offline, I can show you how to do that, too. Do you need a Google account to use the GVC? Um, no, you don't. You only need a Google account to use uh, the Hangouts. So if you wanted to utilize their, um, you know, their applications, um, that would be the only reason you would need that. Uh, yes, a SIP. Well, the SIP account is required if you wanted to do, if you wanted to utilize the SIP. So, actually, uh, Brian, I believe you asked that question. Um, I can email you offline this um, if you wanted to do, like, the IP to direct calling. Um, but if you just wanted to use the Skype for Business with the third-party applications, I believe you could also use it that way as well. Um, but I want to double-check with my engineer about that because um, I have received this question before. And... Um, there was there was varying. It's it's not so simple as just a yes or a no. So um, again, I can I can answer that one offline. Can two uh, yes, two of these systems can uh, Doug? I believe you asked that. Yes, two of these systems uh, can talk internally via the IP IP calling. Oh, with no external. Oh yeah, I should probably expand this. Uh, yes, for anybody who is interested in getting this presentation via um, email, I am happy to send that. I know that we did have, an, uh, unfortunately, with the, the issues with voice and sound, I was kind of postponed, so my apologies for that. Um, but yes, I'm happy to send that to you um, so you can take a look and have the information in front of you. Okay. So um, as far as integration with WebEx, yes, you can use other people's already, like Polycoms, Cisco's, you can use their um, web conferencing on our GDC. Um, and that goes back to the front slides. Um, so yes, that, you, that, can be, that can be done. So uh, for those of you who had the specific technical questions, um, I'm going to basically um, have Corinne, who, who uh, organized everything today, give you my email address. And like I said, anyone who has specific questions, I'm happy for you to email me. And um, we can definitely answer those for you. Obviously, with the webinars, sometimes we're under a time crunch. So um, we want to make sure that we get all the information out there. But if you do, like I said, have any specific questions, I'm going to give uh, Corinne, uh, you know, she can give you my email address. And I'll have that I'll have that sent to everyone. And um, I would like to thank everyone for attending on behalf of both Grand Stream Networks and Streetway Wireless. Uh, we're looking forward to a really, really great year. And um, we're happy that all of you guys joined us this afternoon or this morning, wherever you are in the United States. And um, we, I'm sure we'll be doing a lot more of these. So I, uh, I want to thank you all for your attendance. And like I said, if you have any questions, um, I'm always happy to answer them offline. And um, I will give my email to Corinne, who will be able to hand that out to all of you. So thank you so much.